Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. I haven't done one of these before, although we've done other ones before heaps of times. Let's see how we go. Now this user interface is a pain. Sorry folks, I just lost where I was. I have no respect for the company that made this machine. It's uh, Konica Minolta. I don't have respect for the man behind the company. His name is Shai Yamana. And the latest um, gimmicky um, slogan is rethink tomorrow rethink tomorrow that's the latest one but let's see what this is it's a party tie it's not a business tie although it looks a bit like one I've got a nice little sparkly dots all over it but this is not what Shai Yamana would wear I don't think he knows how to have fun he's an idiot he doesn't care about the environment, he doesn't care about the human race, he doesn't care about the customer. He just cares about money. He's a dick. And I have no respect for him and his kind. But what can we do, folks? It would be nice if people could come and boycott Konica Minolta and other big brands of photocopiers. But all brands are are implicated in bullshit. There's just no company that makes a, a piece of equipment that runs really well, that works well. Now that looks really quite nice. I do think we could make it look better than that. It looks a bit minimalist, but basically I just can't respect people like Shai Yamana and companies like Konica Minolta really hate these people they just don't have any idea how to make things work yeah that looks interesting but I think the first one looks better that looks interesting uh, I'm gonna try another one and this toner doesn't last all that long Compared with the old machine I had, the old C353. The 353 was better than this piece of shit. Now yeah, that looks really shit house. Uh, I do think this version looks better. Uh, I do like that little hole. A little cavity there. Um, I'm just going to try that again. But the thing is, I would like to redesign the photocopier and give it a, a new lease on life. Something that's more reliable and something that lasts long. Something that's good for the environment and good for the human race. Because without the environment, the human race would collapse and die. And you know, we need a positive customer experience with the equipment. We don't want people getting angry and frustrated and turned off and really pissed off with the, um, the way the equipment doesn't work properly. We don't want people spending money on something that ends up breaking down more often than not. I spoke to someone at a local office works regarding some recent recent installations of um, copier systems in their self-service area. He said they were roughly 35% worse. Oh, he said they were 35% worse than the uh, old ones and that the old ones lasted, were better. So that's pretty much it, you know, that's pretty much, it's good to get uh, I do feel it's good to get feedback 
because I don't want to just con I don't just want it to be purely my own observations. I want the observations to come from other people as well, because I want to build up a case against companies like Konica Minolta, and I want there to be truth about it instead of lies. So basically, yeah, we've got to fucking build up, try to find as many people as possible who are truthful about what has happened, what their experience is, and that looks brilliant. I think we can maybe cut it there, or maybe not. Maybe we can just, yeah, that looks really nice. So yeah, we just need more people um, giving us their experience with these systems. Um, we don't just want me being the only person making a case against these cunts. You know, it has to be with other people as well. Now let's see what we can do with this. Yeah, we've got to have more people helping with the case against these companies. Because these companies only care about one thing, and that is making money. And that love of money really shows. And it really ruins the experience for everyone else. You know, the rich people like Shoa Yamana, while they're laughing all the way to the bank, people like myself, you know, I, I wish I could have kept my old... C353 because it was, you know, I didn't want to have to take out a bank loan on this piece of shit. I just wanted to stay with the old one because it was, it would have been cheaper. The, the toner, the toner economy is better on that, you know, it lasted. Uh, I haven't, it's just so expensive uh, getting all this toner, having to buy toner, and it's a real pain in the ass. These companies like Konica, fucking Minolta. I really have no no respect for them, and to think that they've got another slo advertising slogan, rethink tomorrow. It's like rethink what? D damage to our environment, killing off the human race. Rethink tomorrow. How much fucking money can I make for myself tomorrow? Oh yeah, great fun, Shyamani, you stupid fucking CEO. I have no respect for your type, bitch. You rip-off artist, you don't even know. You're a fucking idiot. You're an idiot, Shyamana. Go fuck yourself, bitch. And you Take your fucking slogans and stick them up your ass, you slut. Go fuck yourself, you fucking idiot. You stupid tard. You fucking dumb money fucker. I hate you, Shyamana. Shyamana, incidentally, is the CEO of Konica Minolta, folks. He's an idiot. All right, that looks interesting. I think now we can call this demo quits.